Hello booktube, this is Kelly and you are watching Books I'm Not Reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I want to begin by uh, wishing those of you who are celebrating Holy Week um, uh, this week that just uh, I hope that that has you've been able to connect to your faith community um, virtually somehow and uh, that you have been able to um, you're going to find somehow find a way to, to celebrate Easter, even if it is kind of <laughs> from, a, from a distance. Next, I want to thank so many of you who commented on my video Monday, my Monday check-in, which was really kind of a mini meltdown on my part. <laughs> thank you so much. I honestly almost didn't post that video. And in hindsight, I'm so glad I did because I received so many wonderful comments and it was just really encouraging and really lifted my spirits. Sunday and Monday were, were just rough. The rest of the week has gone better in a weird twist of irony. Today is Good Friday and I have, it's a holiday. So, so even though I can't really go anywhere or really do much of anything. Uh, it gives me more chance to read today, um, which will be nice. So I'm just going to do a quick um, Friday reads, a good Friday reads uh, video. And um, I also hope to add some outdoor footage because, of course, you're so tired of hearing this, I bet. It's supposed to snow this weekend. <laughs> And initially, it was supposed to snow three inches. Uh, now they're saying seven inches in town, 14 inches on the mountain. I don't know if the tulips are gonna be able to last this many repeated snowstorms as they try to, to grow, but I will say we do plant pretty, pretty tough plants here, so hopefully some of them will make it. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to say was that I'm going to start, I'm going to start a garland this weekend. Uh, I received a wonderful gift of fabric, first from one of you that I haven't heard from for a while. So I hope you're doing well, and I would love to hear from you. Um, so I cut some of those strips up, and then I just casually made a comment to my mother, who lives in another city, but is like going crazy, <laughs> bored out of her mind. And she has tons of fabric. And so she sent me a huge, huge quantity of already cut up strips of fabric. So even though it's Easter weekend, I'm gonna start on a spring slash Easter garland this weekend. And I will try to share some of that uh, with all of you as well. So I figure, you know what, like, <laughs> if I have to spend this much time in my home, I might as well have beautiful things uh, to look at. <laughs> okay, so the reading this week, um, I did... I did make some progress in The Writers by Tim Witten. I'm reading this for Aussie April, um, but not as much as I would like. Uh, this week, after after Monday's kind of um, challenging day, I have decided to tell myself that I only have to read 10 pages a day. Um, I did not read in this book yesterday, but I read way more than 10 pages in Trevor Noah's Born a Crime, uh, stories from a South African childhood. I don't know why, I can never remember that. Um, and I've made it quite a bit of progress in this. So I'm thinking that I should be able to finish this this weekend, I think, especially if I do some reading today, which obviously I, ho I hope that I will, um, in both of these books. And then um, I will be starting Rainy, if you're watching, are we reading this? <laughs> is this on our? Is this on tap for this week, or are we? What are we doing? <laughs> so, anyway, Rainy and I are uh, trying to read some Shakespeare plays together outside of Shake Tube in September, and so I didn't get a copy of the one that she wanted to read out of the library um, ahead of time. Uh, I don't read ebooks, so. 
Um, anyway, so we're going with the plays that I own. <laughs> and this is one of them. And of course, I've seen the film many times, but I uh, haven't actually read this play. So time to remedy that. I'm also reading the books of uh, Betty Smith this year. Uh, so this is the third one I'll be reading this year. And I have one more, um, which I always forget the name of it. It is... Tomorrow will be better. So I'm going to be reading that in May because there's going to be a new a new edition of it. Um, but yeah, Maggie now, like I, I'm, I've owned this for a really long time. I'm very excited to read this. Um, a Tree Grows in Brooklyn and Joy in the Morning are outstanding books as well. So I did hear from one of the people I'm, I'm buddy reading this and they're 12 chapters in so I'm like oh my goodness I need to catch up. That is a really short uh, Good Friday Reads. Again I'm wishing all of you the best this weekend. Please stay safe. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, booktube, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye. Hey guys, here's a, another crocus that I discovered. I've never had them bloom in this part of the yard. Look, you can see the leaves from some other ones. So, when you plant a bulb, you just never know what's going to happen. I also wanted to share with you, this is uh, Jason's Abstract Art. I'm not sure he has a name for it, but, uh, so, yeah. Uh, this is what happens when you when you wander around your backyard a lot. <laughs> Let's see if I can find anything else. So this is exciting. This is um, a plant I didn't plant. Uh, so that's one of the things when you buy an older house, uh, you never know what's going to show up um, because um, this plant has bloomed I think every spring we've been here, whether it can survive the next snowstorm, I don't know, but um, it's exciting to see it's still here. It usually has um, these really pretty pink flowers on it, so I searched around the rest of the yard, but so far nothing's quite ready, and so maybe, maybe that's a good, a good sign for spring. All right, take care everyone. I'll talk to you soon.